Queen Lily Okalani o Hawaii There's songs for you That all may hear your silent voice From day to day Your silent plea for Hawaii Your kingdom true So dear to you So dear to me For 12 days in August 1993, the United States and its subsidiaries were put on trial for crimes against us the native people of Hawaii, the Kanaka Maori. Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo, Nakua. A panel of international judges was convened to hear the charges, which included genocide, ethnocide, the taking of our sovereign government, the illegal appropriation of our lands and resources, the destruction of our environment, and violations of international trust responsibilities. With love I sing to you. America. And when I say America, I mean the state of Hawaii. You refuse to listen to the frustrations that are in the hearts of my people. I declare the United States of America and its state agencies of Hawaii guilty. Guilty of criminal actions against our people. Guilty of standing in the way of our desire for self-determination and independence. The plight of the Hawaiian people is real. We're getting our butts kicked out there every day. It's destroying our, our water, destroying our land. We put up our arms because we're angry, we're frustrated. And we can't seem to find the answers in the judicial system. The existing establishment, the governments, refuse to move to correct the wrongs against us. No, Leila. Therefore, the people are compelled to organize and convene a tribunal, Ho'okolokolo Nui, a People's International Tribunal. <laughs> After convening for two days in Honolulu, the tribunal moved on to our island of Maui, where it was welcomed with ancient chants echoing off the walls of Iao Valley, where it heard our pleas to save our ancestral burial grounds of Waihe'e, where the prayers of those of us occupying our lands at Kahikinui were caught up in the swirling winds from Haleakala. On Molokai, as a hurricane threatened and then passed by our islands, the tribunal heard of efforts to retain our traditional way of life and restore our government. Beneath the United Nations flag on Kauai, the tribunal was treated to the hospitality of our people who face arrest and eviction daily and who fight to save our island from the ravages of Star Wars testing. Our families, forced to live under plastic tarps at Keokaha, welcomed the tribunal to our island of Hawaii, while those of us in Kalai and Kona, all threatened with eviction, spread before the international guests not only the food of the land and sea, but our stories of oppression and dispossession. This group of individuals assembled here before you are individuals that have committed themselves over time to struggles for change in the world. And they have come here to struggle for change here on these islands. And we are honored to have nine 
distinguished champions of human rights to serve as our judges. Yun Kung Chung, professor of theology, professor of theology at Ewa University in Korea, and who has just completed a visiting professorship at Harvard Divinity School. Professor Lennox Hines, professor of law at Rutgers University, a member of the Creek Nation on Turtle Island, which Westerners call North America, is Professor Ward Churchill from the University of Colorado in Boulder. <laughs> Professor Oda Makoto, a distinguished novelist and peace activist, most recently <laughs> visiting professor at State University of New York in Stony Brook. Coming all the way from Amman, Jordan, in the Middle East, Asma Khader, an attorney and champion of the Palestinian people there. Professor Richard Falk, professor of international law at Princeton University in New Jersey. Milner Ball, is also a distinguished attorney and professor of constitutional law at the University of Georgia. From the Cree nation, which the Westerners call Canada, is Sharon Denny. And all the way from Aotearoa, all the way from Aotearoa, which the foreigners call New Zealand, is our brother Maori, Te Moana Nui Jackson, <laughs> heading the prosecutor advocate team is Glenn Morris of the Shawnee Nation, professor at the University of Colorado in Denver. And next to him, a citizen of the Puerto Rican Nation, is Jose Morin of the Center for Constitutional Rights in New York City. And on Jose's left is our own Maivan Kleck Lam, professor of law in our own right at City University of New York. But I thank you guys, and I thank all the people that stay over here. Now, maybe the rest of the world going here. Going here, nothing but the truth about the Hawaiian people, the Kanaka Maoli. This People's Tribunal, unlike others, determined to redefine the ground rules of how tribunals are conducted. Uh, it seems to me that what we're concerned about, and it's very fundamental to this tribunal, is what we mean by the phrase, the law. Because the old ideas of what law is and what law should be have been completely turned upside down. We did not feel ourselves bound only by the existing rules of international law. Rather, we wish to broaden that notion of law to acknowledge and once again give validity to the law of indigenous peoples.